7305. The more detailed architecture is shown in this slide. As you can see here, the right pane is the active low and A0 and A1 are responsible for selecting the channel numbers. When A0 and A1 are 00, during this case, we are selecting the channel A. And when we have selected the channel A, and when we are writing the data, so in this case, we are selecting, we are, we are able to transfer the data on the input registers. And by writing the LDAC pin, we are able to transfer the data from the input register to the deck registers of the channel A. When we are selecting the A0 and A1 are 10, during this case, we are able to select the channel number B. Or by writing the pins, we are transferring the data from DB0 to DB7 to the input register B. And by selecting the LDAC pin, we are able to transfer the data from input register to the deck register B. Okay, so like this way, we are able to transfer the data from corresponding channel registers by selecting the A0 and A1 pin. This is the basic truth table for the analog to di digital to analog converter and A0 and A1 are responsible for selecting the channel numbers and write pins are responsible for load and latch the data and load the data load the data from the deck IC that should be active high and that is responsible for transferring the data from the input register to the deck registers. This is the basic architecture of the DSP TMS320 F28335 and this is the DEG IC and this architecture could be different for your development board depending upon which board you are using as I am using the TMS320 F28335 in this board the pin number 64 to 71 are connected to the DB0 to DB7 pins and these pins are responsible for the transferring the data into the DEC IC. So this DEC IC is the 8-bit DEC IC. In the market, you will get the 12-bit also. And pin number 72, 61, 62, 63 are responsible for the control the control the DEC IC. Now we will see this using the DSP processor. How can we implement this? How can we code this using the DSP processor? So first thing we must remember that we have to select the data pins. So all pins should be output pins of the DSP processor. So we have to select the GPIO pins and initially we have considered the all the pins as the general purpose input output pins. So as you can see here this code is responsible for how we are going to use our pins of the DSP processor. So we are going to use pins as a general purpose input output pin and so we kept this GPIO control register dot GPA max dot all equals to zero. That means we are using that pin as the general purpose input output pins. If we are keeping this pin as one, that means we are using that pins for the GPIO, that pins for EPW. Okay. So now after selecting all the pins as a general purpose input outputs, some of the pins which are connected to the DEC IC, that pin we have to connect it with the GPIO pins. So GPIO pin number 64 to 71 are connected to the data pins of the DEC IC. That's why we are correct, we are con considering the direction of that pin 64 to 71 as the output pins. Similarly, Pin number 61, 62, 63, and 72, and these are the control pins and that are connected to the DEC IC control pins. So that directions also we are considering as the output. So all the pins which we are using uh, for transferring the data and uh, for controlling the DEC IC, that all should be output pins. Now we will select, we will write the code. How can we control this? DEC IC. So we have made the function of void deck one under uh, void deck underscore one void, and this is the basic function for the deck IC. Now pin number sixty one and sixty two are responsible for selections. Okay, so as you can see here, 
So pin number 61 and 62 are responsible for channel selections. So A0 and A1 are responsible for the channel selections. So when we have, if we are keeping 00, zero that means we are selecting the big channel A. So we are clearing this bit. So GPB clear dot bit dot GPIO 61. GPB clear dot bit dot GPIO 62 equals to 11. One one. That means we are clearing the 61 and 62 bit. Now pin number 63 are responsible for writing the data so this bit should be active row so this bit gpb clear dot bit dot gpi 63 equals to 0 so this bit should be active row for writing the data and pin number 72 will be responsible for load the data from the input register to the deck register so that should be active high so we have made that is clear so this line won't transfer the data so initially first we need to make the data on the results on the input registers so the data we which we are transferring into input register that is the sign deck and the sign table i already made on the code i'll show you after completion this uh, the code full code so we have made like gpc d80 dot all equals to 0x ff into 0.5 of the sign vector so of the sign deck now any value you can keep this is the for demonstration purpose i have considered the sign deck you can change your values according to your requirement okay so now the 63 bits we are keeping as set so that should be from 0 to it is going to 1 so it is rising edge of the deck pin during this case we are let so when it will be rising edge during this case we are register a latched with db0 to db7 bits and after latching the register after latching the registers now what we are going to do we are just load the data load the data from the right input register to the take registers so we are setting uh, this 72 bits as 1 so we are making this bit as high so we can load the data from the input registers to the corresponding take registers. So this is for the channel A. Now, now we want to select the channel B. So to select the channel B, we are making the 61 pin as set. That means we are making it 1 and the 62 bit is 0. That means we are making it as 0. Now we will see how can we select the another channels. So now here we made 1 and 0. Now we can see here we make 0 and 1. And for four select channel selections, we have make one and one. Okay. And for writing the data, we are making the 63 bit as active low. So here 63 bit is also low. As you can see here, here also 63 bit also low. And here also 63 bit also low. Now load the data into the deck IC. So we are not loading the data. So initially we are not loading the data. So we are making the clear that pin. So all the pins, all the pins, 72 pins are the active row in this case. After that, we have to write the data. So we are writing the data on the corresponding uh, registers, as you can see here. Now after that, we have to make uh, latch the data uh, from the input registers to the deck registers. So this is for latching the data. So it is the rising is because here it is zero. And here we are making it one so it is the rising is in the rising is is what you can do in the rising is when you are writing right pin is a rising is it means your input register function will be register a latched with db0 to db7 and the register function will be latched with previous content there will be no change in the deck register functions okay so when we are keeping the 72 pins gpio pins is high that means we are transferring the data from the research register from the input register to the take registers so this is the way we are selecting the channels and we are transferring the data from the gpio pins and we can easily analyze your output using the deck ic so now you can we will go to the main program and the main program as you can see here uh, i'll show you the full code
so here i already made the sine deck and one square wave also i have made if sine deck is greater than 0.5 y should be 0.2 and else y should be 0.8 and i call all the functions here as you can see here okay so now we will run this using the ccs i just build the code and we'll see whether is there any error or not okay so it built finished now we will debug the code now we will open the code and so this i have connected uh, with the arduino so we can see uh, the analog outputs of the deck ic so i i have connected uh, the channel 1 channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 with the arduino pin a0 a1 a2 and a3 now i'll connect it okay so it is running fine so now i'll just uh, okay okay so as you can see here so as you can see here we have a three science wave with different magnitude and one is the square wave so we will analyze our code and we will see whether it is correct or not so sine lake is the magnitude of 0 to 1 and one is the y y is the magnitude of 0.2 and 0.8 okay so uh, we'll go to the main code and you can see the one is the 0.5 of the sine deck one uh, signal output one channel output another channel output is the y and that is the square wave and another channel output is a 0.7 of the sine deck and another channel output is a 0.8 of the sine deck so this is the 0.8 of the sine deck this is the point 0.7 this is the point 0.5 and this is the square wave you can see here okay so we'll just resume it and we'll just see so this is continuously sine wave now we will change the magnitude of any one of the sine wave and it will be easy for you to analyze so and uh, we just build the code again and we will debug the code again So you can see here uh, the magnitude of sine is below 0.2 you can see here it's points two, and uh, as we have changed on the channel 4 so okay so uh, like this uh, you can change uh, in the code and uh, you can analyze easily so if you like this video and so you can share this video so it can reach to most of the uh, people most of the students and uh, for more video stay tuned with channels and don't forget to subscribe this channel